greetings and welcome to Orkish Inn. This is an early access title. This is the unfinished pre-alpha demo that is available on uh, Steam and also it has its own website. It's available for free. I found it on Steam today and it looked a lot like a lot of fun because you build an inn to serve orcs um, and you do a lot of farming and growing and, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm really curious to see what this is about. I know nothing about the game other than what I've just told you. So uh, it looks like um, they're asking me if I want to settle down in this region or if I want to change and visit a new region. I don't know. <laughs> Let's roll again and see what else we can get in terms of a new region. There we go. Generating a world only for you. Let's see what they're going to generate next. Wow, these are islands. I don't think I like that one. If I'm going to build an inn here, and I, I think there's some farming involved. Oh, wow, look at this. I like this. There's some trees. There's a bit of wood. There's grass on the beach. There's water, so maybe that will mean there, there are people here. Uh, I mean, they can come via boats. Let's let's try this. Let's get this region. There's that um, coppery looking thing out there. Okay, so I can move. Uh, oh, Orcish Inn is in pre-alpha state, so bear in mind uh, that features, mechanisms, content, balancing, and polish are missing and bugs and crashes may appear. The game doesn't have a proper flow and progression yet. I'm still searching for the game in it, and with your feedback, we can make an absolutely weird, adorable, and super slick orc tavern simulation game together. Please check out the blue book icon at the top appearing after this introduction and read the notifications and descriptions of items and entries in the building menu as they contain important information. Best wishes, Stephen Colling. Uh, I think he's the dev. All right, so I think we're going to play. Oh, wow, there's uh, a UI has appeared. How nice. Um, what is it? Okay, the book will teach you all you need to know to pursue a successful career as an orcish brewmaster. Mark a challenge as watched and the challenge's objection objective will be shown right here. Okay, cool. So let's start with basics. Welcome. Dear friend, this book is dedicated to you. May it accompany you on your journey to become an appreciated innkeeper. It's called the Book of Challenges, a book full of tasks arranged in the categories shown on the left. So, okay, so we've got survival, fishing, producing, farming, trading, building, brewing, serving, animal husbandry, and exploring. Okay, use the scroll bar at the right or the mouse wheel to browse through the description and the objectives. Some challenges reward so-called knowledge, which can be invested into character improvements. Oh, so we can level up. Sounds like it. By the way, you can mark challenges as watched by either clicking on a small eye symbol, la da 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 makes it easier to keep track of prog progress. Okay, objectives are always shown at the end of a challenge's description, so please turn the page. Sincerely, the name is hard to decipher. Hmm. Okay, so we read the welcome text. Now claim the reward and check the follow-up challenge afterwards. Oh, we get 2x knowledge. All right, spend 2x knowledge. Oh, we should look at character improvements. Knowledge is mainly acquired by solving challenges in the challenge book, but it is also gained by books you will find on your adventures or by reading furniture blueprints and crafting recipes. If you check the challenge book, you may have noticed that a big blue button appeared. Clicking on it will improve, open the page for so-called character improvements. Okay, so we need to spend our knowledge. Okay, increase maximal hunger to 25%. Well, you'll have to be eat more until being fully sated. The time until you have to stop to eat increases too. Stamina... Uh, hunger loss decreases hunger loss by 10% during sleep, during work by 10%. Wow. Stamina loss by 10% decrease. Okay. Stamina recovery. Oh, that looks interesting. Um, wow. There's all kinds of things to get things from low statuses. Uh, increase, it increases bleeding resistance. That sounds pretty good. These are a lot of... Like, sounds like there's dangers out in this world. <laughs> okay. Um, that's interesting. Customers can brawl. Increase movement speed while swimming. Hmm. 
This is interesting. Increases the push from water's flow in oceans and rivers by 20% in total. I wonder if that's like if you make like a water mill or something and you need, you know, the push to, to generate something like a grind your grain or something. Okay, increases your inventory limit by 10%. Now that's something. Okay, decreases inventory decay chance. Okay. Okay. All right, let's get this burrow. I want a burrow. <laughs> okay, wow, we spent two. All right, we wow, our, our book is, is ringing at us. How nice. Okay, character improvements. Yay, claim reward. We got one more knowledge. Good. The hammer axe. Okay. Wandering around and finding a nice spot is crucial in creating a thriving tavern. Your hammer axe tool available at the right or by pressing three allows you to damage uh, and destroy junk blocking your path, picking up objects or gathering resources from trees and stones. You have to close the book of challenges first, of course. Objects have different amounts of health, so bigger and heavier things can take a couple of hits. To switch back to your hands, press one. Oh, so here they are right here. So there's a shovel in two, hammer axe in three, something like potions in four, and there's other stuff in the rest. Okay, by the way, to speed your chopping and smashing, you can hold the mouse button until a knock appears. Such a heavy hit is much stronger and gives the same amount of resources, but costs more stamina in total. Okay, so basically doing heavy hits is faster, maybe, um, but... Okay, we're, we're actually tasked with doing this. Let's get our hammer axe. Oh, okay, let's grab this. Okay, there we go. Let's knock it. All right, good. We did our four, four hits for those guys. Okay, and what is this thing? I want to get this. Wow, we got stuff. Oh, there's a mushroom. Oh, I want a mushroom. Oh my God, I love this game. It is so cute. <laughs> oh my God. It's knock. 16 of whatever you want columns. Okay, let's, let's see our book. Book says hi. Claim reward. Okay. Now, oh, we can, we can spend more knowledge and get, uh, decreases inventory decay chance. That sounds tasty. Oh my God. It, it increases everything else. Oh, Whoa. So anything else I want to get costs four knowledge. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's really rough. All right. Fine. Can I, can I go up? This is like a cliff, I think. Okay. This is not a cliff. Oh, that's good. What is this? I don't even know what that is, but it looks like rocky stuff. I don't know. This looks like a really interesting area. I wonder what this blue stuff is. That's kind of cool. Oh, swamp. Okay. Is that a tree? No, I don't know what it is. Here's a snail. Can I get you a snail? Snail. No, I can't click on the snail. That's okay. They're probably just decorative, maybe. Ooh, they're like walls and bits here. What is this? Can't click this. I don't know why. So this is hunger. I'm at 27% hunger. Gets drained over time uh, and by working and refilled by eating. Um, so it looks like I need some hunger soon. 29% stamina, stamina drained over time. So here's our little post. Here comes your opportunity to buy and sell stuff. Okay. Uh, what do I do next though? Is there something that I need to do next? Maybe survival. Let's click this. Can I go to that? Oh, inventory and hungry. Okay. There we go. Inventory is accessible on the right <clears throat> at the very bottom of the toolbar or by pressing nine or E. So that must be this last one here is E. It stores all kinds of items, including bread. You can left click on an item to show its details, including a description. Every item can have a quality between zero and six stars. The item info tells you how much of the selective item you have per quality level. <clears throat> Some items allow an interaction by performing a right click on them like bread to eat it. Food restores some of the hunger given its quality. Your hunger is shown as a blue bubble with a little fish symbol at the screen's bottom. That's this one. Working drains hunger and empties the bubble and until it gets filled with red instead, which means your hunger is critical. Try to keep it in the blue area because having a critical hunger can lead to crippling status effects. But don't worry, you can't die. By the way, one of the items in your inventory is a so-called hawker flute. 
It belongs to a flying trader which will visit you every midday. If you get stuck somewhere or lost in the ocean, you can call him for help for a bit of your money. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so we need to eat a piece of bread. That's our next thing to do. Oh, hey, traveler dude, how you doing? Oh, this must be the guy that will save me. Okay, let's eat some bread. What is this? Oh, that's iron ore, limestone turf, fly agaric, rope, hawker's flute. There it is. Oak log, amber, and oat bread. Let's eat some bread. Oh, wow. It, it, wow, that's nice. Okay, bread and oat. It doesn't taste that good and is considered a poor man's food. Can decay with a chance of 40%. A decay below a quality of zero will destroy the item. All right, so this is what... Is this what our friend has over here? Hawker Guild address labor? Wow. Huh. Wow. Social rank. P pea seeds, potato seeds. He sells all kinds of stuff. A barrel for a slot machine in the hot brew edition. Huh. How interesting. There's all kinds of funky things. Fertilizer, nails. All right. Sugar beet seeds, rope. Wow. There's all kinds of funky things in this game. I like it. Okay, so inventory and hunger. Let's get our rewards. We've got 1x knowledge and 20 rope. Climbing. With a bunch of ropes in your inventory, mountains are not an obstacle anymore. You can create climbing ropes out of these uh, ropes with the help of the shovel tool and the building menu. To open the building menu, click on the shovel icon on the toolbar or press 2. Uh, okay. Uh, has climbing ropes. To select the climbing rope, perform a double left click on the climbing rope icon. The building menu will close and you can place the climbing rope on cliffs. You can even place them on the back side of a mountain, which can cost more rope if it's a high one. Okay, so we're tasked with, um, yes, placing a climbing rope. Okay, oh, there's our guy. Okay, let's do this. Get the shovel. And, okay, there's nature, outdoor floors, indoor floors, color, interior, walls and fences, utility. There it is. And we need, there's a chest, rain barrel, beer barrel, stuff things. Uh, whoa, 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 it's not what I wanted. Next page, maybe. No? I know it must be here. Beer barrel, wood yard, stone yard, or ingot, leaves tent, bed, postage desk. Wow, we can mail stuff to people. That sounds fun. Uh, aha, there it is. So we click on it twice, ish. Oh, there we go. Double click. They meant. Okay, good. So can we place this here? Oh, there we go. And we can walk. Cool. Awesome. So hello, blue book. Take our reward. One X knowledge. Oh, we can spend knowledge now again. Oh. Moving fridge. Oh, this sounds really good. But I'm wondering if I should just, I should wait and see what things are really important, I think. So let's look at our next thing. Prepare for the night. To sleep through the night, you can build a tent made out of leaves. This needs a couple of resources you have to collect from nature. Sleeping during dusk or night will refill your stamina, uh, which is important to avoid critical statuses similar to the ones when you are hungry. Your stamina is shown as a green bubble with a little hammer symbol next to the hunger bubble. Okay, so that's this one here. Wow, what are these other things? Oh, the tent is available in the building menu in the same utility categories as the climbing ropes. Check what resources you need and collect them with your hammer axe. Okay, we need five logs and 20 leaves of any type. So let's go collect some leaves. Um, are there any on the ground? There's leaves everywhere, it looks like. Oh, here's leaves. Wow, there's like a billion leaves. Oh, can I walk? Ah, ah. There we go. Did they say 200 leaves of any type? That's a lot of leaves. Okay, let me get my, um, what, my inventory. I need to eat some food again. I'm just like starving. Where food are you? Hello, food. Let's eat more. And let's look at this tent. No, that's not it. Climbing rope, dynamite sign, mailbox, guide post things. Aha, leaves tent. I really do need 200. I thought it was a typo. Oh well. We will collect half a billion leaves.
Oh, I'm getting ladybugs too. How funny. And other bugs. Miscellaneous bugs. Oh boy, I'm having this like horrible stamina problem thing. Can I go behind this tree? Okay, I can. I'm really glad I didn't choose those funky islands to settle on. <laughs> Okay, let's see, do I have enough stuff yet? 171 leaves, so I still need to grab some more. I'm really worried, look at my red, my red stamina, this is horrible. I'm like, eh. I need to rest immediately, if not sooner. Okay, let's see, tent, leaf tent. Aha, we have things. Okay, boom. Let's go put it, oh, what is that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, can I put it back in my inventory? Can I, can I put it somewhere? Oh, okay, I just didn't craft it then, okay. What is this thing? Hey. Okay, I'm gonna eat, I gotta eat. Eat, eat, eat. So let's build our le uh, whoops. I don't know what that is. It looks like marble or something. It looks really pretty. Maybe I'll put my tent right here. That looks like a cozy place. So leaves tent. Okay, there we go. So walk on and press Z to sleep. Let's see what our thing tells us. Prepare for the night. Get our reward, sleeping and stamina. Okay, we've already placed the tent. Uh, be aware that objects can get permanently damaged when pick, uh, picked up. Okay, tents and beds allow you to get some sleep when it's dusk or night and to refill the stamina. Be uh, stamina. Beds with proper beddings on them restore stamina a lot faster, but beds only work indoors, and setting up a little house is actually quite a bit of work in comparison to putting together a tent made of leaves. Okay, so let's get a hawker's post and knowledge. The hawker! Yay! The hawker is a flying trader and well known among the orcs. His hot air balloon cleaves its way through the clouds and sometimes even trees. You can hear the growling of his boiler from far away. He visits you every midday, except when it's bad weather. A way to control his flying behavior is to build a so-called hawker post, like the one which was at the location where he dropped you off in the beginning. The last challenge rewarded you with one of those posts. Go and place it near your tent. If placed, the hawker will automatically fly to this post for the coming visits. If it's already midday, he's probably he probably waits on the one from the start. Okay, so I don't really want to build a hawker post here, but that's okay. I will anyway. Inventory. Um, I think this is the hawker's post. Yes. Okay, can I? Oh, right click on the item to place. Okay, let's put it right over here. Oh, there he is. He is flying toward me. All right, Blue Book, how you doing? We get a reward. There, trading. Trading is crucial for succeeding in your business. You can sell resources not required anymore, like wood for extra money and restock your seeds and other useful items like yeast, ropes, nails, and fertilizer. Sometimes the hawker sells special offers like a backpack. To trade with the hawker, walk near to him and open the inventory. You can also select him and press the appearing trading button. The hawker's inventory will appear on a yellow background left of the item information. Hold shift and click on an item in your inventory to sell it or in his inventory to buy it. In the item information area, you can set how many items are transferred at once. To transfer all items of a type, hold control while clicking. Okay. If you want to throw items away, there's a button for that too. It's a red trash can at the item information area. To actually throw an item away, select it in your inventory and perform a right click on the trash can. To throw them all away, hold control while clicking as usual. If it's not midday, you can fill the time by sleeping or exploring your area in hope of finding a spot where to build your house and tavern later on. Okay, uh, buy all the seeds the hawker has to offer. Wow, I, I don't know if I can, I have no inventory space. Oh boy. Oh, there he is. That's kind of interesting. Okay, there's our trading thing. This place looks nice. Thank you very much. I, I like it a lot. It's kind of fun. Um, we've got, we've already have some seeds. 
Okay, put in a compost. Reduces quality of the other items on decay. Okay. This is... So I'm going to sell some of these things to him. Can I shift-click that? Oh, I'm making money. Okay. Let's send all these ladybugs your way, too. Oh, they, they cost zero. Ha! <laughs> Whoops. I don't know how many seeds he has. Let's look for seeds. Slot machine barrels. Okay, these are oat seeds. Uh, hop seeds, sugar beet seeds. Wow, I have... I have stuff. There's a fly agaric. Okay. Got one for that. Uh, common leaves. I'm going to give him all my leaves. I think. Uh, control. Click. Good. Okay. Brushwood. Yeah. I'm just going to send all these beetles to him and stuff. And so I have more inventory space. Because I don't think I have more than one page of inventory. I don't know how many pages actually. I don't know. So can I, how much money do I have? Um, oh, I have a ton of money. Holy fuzzy cats. All right. Uh, let's just buy all this stuff then. Uh, control, 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 yeast, fertilizer, nails, rope, postage stamp, envelope medicine. I'm looking for a backpack and see if he's selling one of those. Nope, these are all, what are these? Trading warrant. Oh, we need to hire social ranks to get them. Yeah, that's okay. We're, we're gonna try to just go with this. So, okay, book, thanks. So finally, the basic instructions are over here, but many challenges are yet to be solved. Don't forget to progress at your own pace and take the obstacles one by one. There is no hurry except for winter, where you will likely starve and freeze. <laughs> okay. A challenge in the survival category will be unlocked, which will make the other categories ac accessible step by step. Your overall goal is to set up a flourishing inn with happy guests. Good luck with that. Oh, dear. Okay, claim the reward. There's our reward. Okay, so let's start on the survival chapter. Stamina. Stamina can't be refilled with sleep during the day. Oh my goodness. You know what? We'll start on this on the next episode, I think. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I am really curious about how this game is going to go and um, we'll just, we'll just have to see. So um, I will see you next episode. Take care of yourselves. Bye.